back with another video. God is sending a lot of people to my channel, uh, those who he is calling, or those who are hungry to know the truth. And uh, I'm going to give you guys a cartoon animation. There's a non-stop battle between the soldier of God and the evil army in the spiritual realm and in the world. And before I start this cartoon, I want to show you guys uh, the scripture. So it says, uh, this is in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 to 4. It says, Thou therefore endear hardness as a good shoulder of Jesus Christ. No man that worth entangled himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has called it to be a shoulder. All right, last one. Uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 13. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the, will, the wills of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand, withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. So it says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the powers of against the rulers of darkness in this world. So we don't we don't battle against people. We, we battle against demonic spirits, which is why God says to put on full armor. So let's go with this animation. Uh, cartoon animation created by Fox 600. Make sure you all subscribe to this channel. Music in the background is by Woody Rock. I found in you. The landing crafts of God. The faithful soldiers of God are in the landing crafts. So we were ready. We have our armor on. They are commanded to advance and storm the land that is ruled by Satan. Demonic army to attacking the soldiers of God. Evil army are trying to stop the invasion of the soldiers of God. The soldiers of God refuse to stop advancing on the enemy's occupied land. There are many Christian villages and towns in the spiritual places and in the world. And the world. Satan wanted to take the church of people from God. The body of Christ. The kingdom of darkness and spiritual forces that control evil in the spiritual places and the world. All right, the kingdom of darkness wars against the soldiers of God in this world today. He ordered his army to march and besiege the church that Jesus is head of. All right, so Satan ordered his, his uh, minions to attack the soldiers of God. So the powerful demonic army, those are the evil snipers, uh, snipers force. The evil cannons were so, just as we have our weapons, which are not carnal, our spiritual, the devil and his minions, they have their weapons too. Slander, hate, gossip. The Christian village is in the spiritual place, places. God commands his soldiers of God to steadily stand firm and hold his church. So be prepared, be prepared, the devil's going to attack against the evil enemy until Jesus arrives. So be prepared, be, have your armor, be sober-minded. For many years, his church was standing firm and held by God, the soldiers. Satan's campaign isn't aimed at children, servants of God, but at the soldiers of God. Because the soldiers of God are God's faithful shepherds, leaders. So Satan always, you know, sends his minions towards the soldiers of God. The demonic army were busy camp campaigning against the soldiers of God. If the soldiers of God give in to their enemy, the this church will be taken by Satan easily. So they're going to stand firm, be sober, be vigilant. Evil scouts went to test the soldiers of God in this church, in the spiritual places, and in the world. Man, this is so real to test their strengths and weaknesses when keeping faith in God. So let me pause this real quick. So what these demons will do, right? Uh, like when I gave up wheat, um, I noticed like I would go to random places and people would offer me free weed. Like what? I, the minute I quit smoking, bro, people wanted to get people, random people, random strangers on the street wanted to give me. So this is how it was. This is how it was. Evil demons in the spiritual realm using people. To test my faith. And I stand firm. I didn't fold. I did not fold. Those evil snipers were ordered to move in for the kill. Demons. Man. Many evil snipers skipped out to the church without seeing or knowing. The wicked watch the righteous and seek to slay them. That's in the book of Psalms. Shooting his fury darts to the wicked. Have the shield of faith to protect you. Right, the wicked shoot, shooting their arrows. Casting their stones. Try to attack the soldiers of God. The evil sniper snipes some shoulders. 
filling their minds with doubt and confusion about their faith in the word of God. Later, the soldiers started to argue with each other over biblical teachings and different gospels. Oh, don't we see this happening today, guys? The church was divided into many Christian churches. Don't we see this happening today? Some sided with the Bible-believing soldiers. Some sided with the Catholic soldiers. And we all know the Catholic is of darkness. Uh, others with Baptist soldiers and others with Protestant soldiers of God. All of darkness. Many different Christian uh, soldiers built their own church for themselves and God. All of darkness. Those soldiers were unaware they were Satan's slaves. Satan had kept a secret to use Christian soldiers to turn against the soldiers of God. Many religion Christian soldiers were increasing in size and strength. Religious. I tell you guys, man, you don't want to be religious, man. The group of soldiers of God was decreasing. Never, nevertheless, their faith in God grew stronger and stronger. Be a warrior. Be a warrior for God. Be a warrior for Christ. Don't be religious. After years, many uh, religious Christian soldiers still served their master, saying they thought their, their master was God. Wow, don't we see this happening today? The Christians were being used by the evil one to argue against the soldiers of God. Thinking the soldiers of God are false Christians or false prophets. Don't we see this happening today? The three soldiers of God who were still standing firm against the evil enemy. Being obedient. Bro, do you know why Satan keeps attacking us? Yes, he wants us to surrender ourselves to him. That's why he keeps attacking you. All you uh, soldiers of God. He also wants us to be his slaves as he did to other Christian soldiers. Hey, don't worry about Satan attacking us. You need to stand firm and resist the enemy. I agree with him. For Jesus defeated Satan and all the evil ones on the cross. We must stand firm in his victory. So they're keeping the faith. Amen to that. Thank you for encouraging me. You see how we have to encourage each other as body of Christ? Us warriors from the most high? We have to encourage each other, man. Against these false, these people who are, you know, letting Satan rule over them. So-called Christians, so-called Hebrew Israelites. We have been commanded to steadfast, stand firm, and hold our church of people. Or the church is a body, guys. Sheep, a sheep of God until Jesus arrives. Yes, I know that. I was told he's coming soon. And he sure is. Jesus Christ is coming soon. No one knows when he will arrive except the Father in heaven. That's the truth. That's in the Bible. You mean Jesus doesn't know when he will come? Yes, he doesn't even know. Only God knows. That's right. It's only our Father in heaven. We need to trust in him. And that's what everyone that's watching this video needs to continue doing. Trusting in God, you know, that his word will come to pass. Ah, here you are, the demonic archers. Look at them. The wicked watch the righteous. The, de the demonic chef spotted the group of the soldiers of God. The wicked watched the righteous and seek to slay him. He ordered the cannon guns to move and aim at the small group. Wow, this is how it is. They see, they see it coming, brothers. Hold your shields up. God's with uh, was within us. The shield of faith. That's what they have. That's what the Bible calls it. The shield of faith. The protector gets a fury dart to the wicked. I want to bombard that whole village. Satan's minions. Evil spirits, demonic spirits. The demonic cannon guns fire shooting at the village and the territory. Temptation, temptation to get you to sin. To get you to fall into your temptations. That's what the, that's the, when, they, when, they, when you get tempted, that's not God tempting you. Those are demons. Satan's minions. Or it could be Satan himself. This demonic cannon balls can lead to temptation. To get you to go back to your old ways. The cannonballs are not to kill or hurt the people. They are to cloud their minds with confusion, fear, depression, doubt, uncertainty, discouragement, and just nothing but evil, pure evil. To get you to go back to your old vomit. We are bombarded. We must stand firm and hold our faith. Satan tries to make us give up. And that's what he does. Makes you to give up. That's what Satan wants you to do. To give up. Serve him. I'm sure those soldiers will give up to us. We will make them our slaves. A demonic chief saw many badly damaged houses and some churches abandoned. 
every Christian surrender themselves to the enemy, they will serve Satan. Yes, you have some people calling themselves soldiers of God, and they're, un they're unawarely serving Satan. Because they're religious. Damn, stubborn soldiers of God. So to the demons, they, re they still refuse to give up. I hate them. To the demons, you're being stubborn. To God, you're being obedient. He ordered the cannon guns to fire shooting at the small group of the soldiers of God. So the demons, they call it, they say you're being stubborn. God says you're being obedient. God says you're standing firm. The group of soldiers of God were heavenly barbaric. So you see how they're getting attacked. Brothers, hold up your shield of God that you trust him with all your heart. Getting attacked in the spiritual realm. Using weak vessels to attack you. Don't give up. Don't fear bombing the evil. Stand firm in Christ. See how they're helping each other? Building each other up. Resist saying, I'm sure that all enemy will flee from us. Building a nation up. God suddenly shields. Suddenly God's shields was sent to this small group. So all the, look at all the, the arrows and the weapons of the enemy. They're not being protected by the Most High. The group was covered with God's powerful and spiritual shield. Cannonballs cannot affect the shield of God. All right, nothing, no matter what they do, it's all a waste. That's like trying to shoot a gun with no bullets in it. <laughs> the demonic archer is still watching. <laughs> the high-ranking minion, the demonic chef, then realized that cannonballs couldn't affect the group. The high-ranking minion of Satan. So he ordered all demonic armies to break. The besiege and retreat. The wicked gotta flee. The wicked gotta eventually leave you alone from the group, the soldiers of God, to the dark territory. All evil forces abandoned their powerful weapons and fled to the dark territory. It's just like in that game Halo, where, uh, the shield, if y'all know what I'm talking about. I told you, they fled from us because we stood firm in God. Let's go at once to take the territory from Satan. See, I gave you guys that scripture, stand firm. We can certainly conquer it. For Christ is, w is with us, come with us. So they endured the hardness. I get scripture I gave you guys. They endured the hardness as a good soldier of Christ. They endured it. The soldiers of God continued steadily and took many territories from Satan. They were a threat to Satan. That's why they kept getting attacked. When you're a threat to Satan, he's going to attack you hard. He's going to attack you hard when you're a threat to Satan. You will, not, you will not have to fight this battle. Take up your position. Stand firm and see the deliverance the Lord will give you. Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow and the Lord will be with you. Man, this is a powerful video, man. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. Get this one out, man. People need to see this. Spiritual warfare. Spiritual wickedness in high places. I love each and one of you guys. Y'all stay strong. Y'all continue to endure to fight the good fight of faith and lay hold into eternal life, which he has chosen you. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.